guys. So today I'm here with a product review. Um, I was sent a hair straightener and this is from, I'm not sure if it's pronounced MyroPure or MiroPure, um, but they sent me a hair uh, straightener. So I'm gonna test it out. Um, the girls and I all have different textures of hair. So I'm gonna test it out on me and show you guys the initial results and then I will test it on the girl's hair because Natalie's is so thick and Katie's is just kind of wavy and mine is uh, very very curly and kinky. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what it looks like inside. There we go. Okay. So there we go. Take the lid off. Oh, nice. All right, so it comes with a carrying case for it. It's like a kind of a velour feel to it, but then it also comes with a heat glove, so that's nice. All right, so instruction booklet. Oh, and a comb. Well, that's interesting. Cool. All right, so let me go ahead and get this uh, heated up, plugged in, and you know, brush this rat thing out. Um, I shampooed it, let it dry with no product in it at all. Um, so this is how I like my hair before I straighten it. I just let it air dry with no product. So I'm going to get it, you know, sectioned off and all that jazz, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the device out of the package, and it is infrared. You can see the infrared strip in there. Um, to turn it on, there's a glowing button here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off for right now. Okay, so to turn it on, you push and hold till it beeps. And then you'll see the numbers here. And as you click it, it will raise the temperature. Okay, so I had it set at 200. So I am going to go ahead and test it out there. Um, I don't think it's 200 degrees. I'm not sure what the degrees is of it. Um, it doesn't say in here either. It doesn't give, I don't know if that's 200 degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not Fahrenheit because like my regular straightener goes up to 400. So I thought on their website it had higher numbers. So I'm guessing maybe that's a Celsius number, but I will find that information out for sure online and let you know in the description box below, or I will do something across the bottom here as I'm editing and let you know. Um, also, I'm going to leave a link to where you can get this at the uh, in the description box down below so you can get it on Amazon if you're interested in it. But okay, I have sectioned my hair. I have sprayed it with a heat protectant. So now I am going to take a piece of this crazy mad hair that I have and open that bad boy up. All right, and we're going to see how this works. All right. So I'm going to use it like I would a regular straightener where I would just go to the root part a few times before I go all the way down. I don't know. I think these little things here, um, little plastic pieces, where it comes together, I think my hair is getting caught in there and it's really pulling at it. Um, so that's not overly comfortable. It doesn't seem to straighten a ton. It's still quite frizzy. Let me try to do a curl. Um, if you've ever seen any of my videos before, how I curl my hair, um, I'm just gonna do this the same way I do that. Okay, it curls. 
curled okay, but it's still really frizzy. It did not take the frizz so much out of my hair. Get up here and see if you can see the volume that I still have in my hair. It is not so sleek like it typically would be. Sorry, I'm looking at myself in the mirror. The curl holds nicely though. So maybe if you don't have a uh, big hair like I do in the first place, it would work really nicely because the curl is holding very nicely. It is not coming back out even with me messing with it. So that's nice. Let's try from the other side and see what we get to a little smaller section. That side looks nicer with a smaller bit of hair. This hair is still having a hard time wanting to lay flat. Okay, it's nicely straightened, but it has not taken out any of the frizz. Let me go ahead and curl this piece. So yeah, it curls it okay, but it doesn't get out any of the frizziness um, from my hair like my normal straightener does. So I don't know that this would be so good if you had a hair type like mine. Um, let me go ahead and get one of my kids in and we will check out their hair. Before I get my kids in, I'm going to go all the way up to the highest setting. It's blinking right now. When it stops blinking, then it's ready. Okay, so we're going to try this at 220 and see if that works any better. I'm gonna grab a different, nah, I'll do the same piece of hair. All right, so we'll put it at the highest heat and we'll see if that will work any better. I'm always wary of trying something new on the highest heat because, um, you know, I don't wanna burn my hair off. much better at the higher heat but I mean you can still see some of the volume in it um, so I think it's probably not made for hair quite as curly and kinky as mine so uh, let me get one of my kids in here okay so let's give this a try on Katie's hair I'm just gonna take a small section of her hair it's about a one inch section Three tangles. Let's see how it does on her hair. So here's the piece of Katie's hair. So you can see it's definitely straighter than it was. It's nice and smooth. It still has quite a few flyaways that it isn't taming down. You've got some extra little pieces here um, that aren't quite laying down with the rest of it. Let's uh, do a curl on her hair. Pulling your hair at all? No. No. Okay. 
but curled nicely. Looks nice in her hair, but if you can see in here, it certainly isn't smooth. It certainly is not as smooth as it could be. Okay, so now we'll try Natalie. Go get your sister. Okay, so now let's try Natalie's hair. Um, her hair does not have a ton of wave to it, um, but it is very thick. She has tons of hair. So it has a tendency to get kind of puffy and mushroomy. So we'll see if we can't tame it down a little bit. Okay, so I think on the part just here of Natalie's hair where I have straight, where I straightened it with this straightener, it is so much smoother and it is so much smaller. Um, even when I was taking bigger sections, if you saw that last section I did was a pretty decent sized section and it really smoothed it down. So I think if you have curly hair, it's not going to be great for you, but if you have hair that's already kind of straight, it really does take the volume out of it and it makes it nice and sleek. Okay, thank you. Okay, so that is my review of the infrared straightener. Um, I, I think it is great if you have uh, a little bit of a wave to no wave. Um, I think if you get super kinky, it's not gonna work quite as well. Um, Katie's hair looks much sleeker than mine did and Nat's look the best. So if you are looking for something that doesn't cause as much damage, because the infrared is supposed to cause considerably less damage than just plain ceramic plates, um, then this may be the way you want to go. And if you have super kinky hair, then unfortunately I would not recommend it because this would not have made my hair look as sleek and nice as I would like it to be if I'm going to straighten my hair. So okay, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was informative and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.